Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm delighted, of course, to stand here um, and present to you a man who needs no introduction, Mr. Ryan Giggs, as the new national team manager uh, for Wales. We've agreed a contract with Ryan that will take us not just through, of course, the UEFA European Championships 2020, but also onwards and upwards to the FIFA World Cup 2022. I'm very excited about the opportunities ahead with the, of course, Nations League. Uh, the first competition um, that we will see ourselves before the qualifiers for the European Championships and uh, delighted to work together with Ryan to hopefully see our teams qualify not only for future European Championships but also for that elusive World Cup. What's the overall sense of feeling? Is it excitement? Is it a pride? A mixture of everything? Mixed emotions really. Obviously first proud, excited, a little bit nervous but yeah can't wait to get going with this this group of players who obviously filled us with so much pride when they, when they qualify for the Euros. That's what I want to do, I want to fill stadiums, I want to excite the Welsh fans and, and make them proud of, of their national team. I've been to the Far East many times, but yeah, it's a good opportunity to manage the logistics, the jet lag, the different training pitches, the different atmosphere. Delighted with the staff, I mean, everyone who I brought in were my first choice. The new additions, obviously with myself, Albert Steifenberg, who I've worked with at United, Hope I've pronounced his name right. He always tells me off for not pronouncing it right. But Tony Strudwick, who will be working as head of performance, a real mix there of people who I know really well and people who, who have contributed in the, the last few years to, to Welsh football and the success that we've had. But ultimately, to play two games and, and win, you know, I want to get off to a winning start. Okay, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. How you that you're writing on every one of them as well. So what do so you mean? You, mate. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you fan? Yeah? Yeah, you can just do I it. I can use it, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Thank you. When you're national team coach, there's always going to be a lot of pressure. You climb that mountain and then it's very hard to, to climb it again. But that's about the mentality and the belief that you can do it again. It's not easy. That is why I took the job because you know there's a, there's a lot of talent within the team. Obviously, when the previous manager left, the post was vacated. I, I wanted to do it because it's such a fantastic job. With Wales, we have history of giving young coaches a chance. Like Mark Hughes, Gary Speed. Chris Coleman. There's a philosophy where you do give young coaches a chance.
because that's where I'll be most comfortable, you know, on the training pitch, working with the players, working on how we're going to win games. And it gives a, a chance for a lot of these players to show what they can do. They're playing regularly for their clubs and doing well for their clubs. Now it's that step up onto the international stage. It gives me a chance and, and the staff a chance to get to look at these players close at hand. Knock out, little walk across. And uh, Chris Metham from Brentford, what have you seen over there? Yeah, exciting. He's played a lot in the last couple of months for Brentford and yeah, he's someone who we want to look at. An unbelievable feeling, finished training and then a few of the lads at training was having like smiles on their faces and were sort of like applauding me. I checked my phone and saw the sort of social media notifications come through. So yeah, it was a great feeling for me and yeah, I couldn't wait to get started. It feels like not too long ago that I made my sort of debut for the 21. So it's all happened really quick and yeah, I'm just sort of trying to take it in my stride really. That's my job, maintaining the, the team spirit. I'm lucky in the fact that um, I took over a team where they're not only teammates, but they're friends, that togetherness. And you can have the best players in the world if you haven't got team spirit or if you haven't got that, that togetherness, you won't win anything. So um, it's really important. It's an ideal opportunity to bred youngsters. You know, any tournament like this, they get the full exposure, they get the, the pressures, etc. As far as Ryan Gates go, he's just got a lot to prove. He's come across quite well in everything he's done. He has got a lot to prove and hopefully he can do it. You know, he's, he's, he's bold team squad selection. I'm quite happy to be honest. We just, we just want to get off to a winning start and I think it's really going to help Ryan Giggs get into position and get used to being the, you know, the manager. And I think that'll be uh, fantastic for us.
I'll give everything that I've got, like I've always done. Work as hard as I can. Me and my staff will work as hard as we can, and just like the players, and and make the make the fans proud of the national team. Time coming your second cap, hasn't it? But you made the most of it. Yeah, as obviously I was delighted to make my debut at such a young age. But I've always wanted more, and thankfully I got the chance tonight, and it was a great win by the team. 21st birthday you celebrated in style. Yeah, it was what I wanted. I think when the trip got announced and I seen it was over my birthday, I knew there'd be a chance that I'd be playing on my 21st, and to cap it off with a goal and a great win is perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, fantastic for, for me to break the record on a personal note. So, um, yeah, happy with that. But, um, yeah, obviously thankful for the, for the team for helping me to get to this point. And, um, yeah, the most important thing was the performance and, uh, yeah, trying to, to, to win the manager's first game, put a good performance on and, uh, and a good show for the fans.
大家好，欢迎来到中国杯决赛威尔士队的赛前新闻发布会。I suppose losing and, and missing out on the World Cup makes us even more hungry now again to, to try and qualify for the next campaign. And every single player will tell you that they want to play at the highest level and for their、um, country, and, and that's the World Cup or the Euros. So、um, yeah, not just for me on a personal note, but for Wales as a nation, we we don't want to just qualify for one or two tournaments. We want to try and be qualifying for every tournament we enter, and、um, it's a chance for us now to to keep building on on what we what we've done, build a strong strong squad for the future to keep qualifying to to be competitive in in qualification and and in tournaments. And、uh, yeah, we all need to push in the in the same direction to make that happen. Well, I played. Obviously, as you've seen, the first game, three at the back. Obviously, wing backs. And the second game, I played four at the back when we didn't have the ball, and then switched it to exactly the same as as in the first game. One, we felt it was the best way to go about making it difficult for Uruguay. Secondly, building for the future. You know, we we don't just want to have one formation.、Um, We want to be able to be flexible,、uh, depending on the players available and depending on who we're playing against. So there was a lot of information that the players had to take on board, which they did. Four training sessions, quite a few meetings, and just trying to get your message across, but not complicate it too much. 第二场比赛呢，更多的是非常的艰难，非常困难，因为对方有很多年轻并且并且富有天赋力的球员。We've heard of Ryan Giggs being in the area so much recently, going to watch the youth teams play, and just how much he's taken on of the community. I'm setting up this alone and getting it back up to North Wales is just, you know, it really does send a good vibe up the North Wales that we're involved again, and, it, and it's coming back up here. So yeah, perfect for the children and perfect for the area.
good session, right? Very good start. Good quality. Run on, start really quickly. And then the reps show the better quality at the end. It's the start of a good week, long week. But China was good. China was good both on and off the pitch. Like I say, on the pitch, I didn't get much time to work with the players, but two two good games, two different games. This time I've got time with the players, but still, I don't want them to be comfortable. You know, I want them to be competitive every day in training and test themselves because um, they're fighting for the places, not only for for Mexico, but looking ahead to to the games against Ireland and Denmark. Right foot, turn, and you dribble. I'm not really bothered about age, you know, whether that be older or younger. If you're good enough, then, then you'll get a chance. It's healthy, it's healthy competition, and I want to see that every day in training. Uh, it's just, just one shot of the goal, and then obviously it's your, it's your mate, so you're just you know, a little bit extra, that bit more happy that it, it was him that scored it. Yeah. Have, you, sorry, just, just, have you texted him? No, not yet. I haven't had a chance for that. I've come in. I missed the last goal, so I've come to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get a closer look at the boys, have a look what they do in training. Hopefully get some awesome. autographs. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, it's a good thing that they've let us come and watch them, you know. Um, gives, the play it gives the fans a chance to see the players closer up. Well, I knew Wales was playing, so they never how they ever play in America? Arizona's a six-hour drive, so I figured I might as well make the drive. Like I saw Mark Hughes score his goal in Wrexham, so I haven't seen Wales play since probably 86, 87, so. If the rumour is true, you're the, the creator of Super Ted, is that right? <laughs> yeah, that is correct. Uh, I have a studio here in Los Angeles. We've been here 28 years and uh, we produce tons and tons of things, but Super Ted, you know, 
whenever we're back in Wales, it's always super touching. You know? Not that many fans can come this far and see the team, so you know there's an opportunity to be part of something, something different, something special. If you're a Welsh person, whether you're Welsh by heritage or Welsh by birth, it's it's the greatest honour, you know. So just to be within a hundred yards of your team is is everything, really. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? How's the journey? Oh, not too bad. Been here a week. Yeah, I've been down with my mate in San Diego. Yeah, it's good to see you. I'm a mate, Dad. Yeah. 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 There, okay, thank, you, okay. thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. He's a real superhero. Yeah. What a goal, huh? One of the best I've seen. Yeah. 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 Show you my tattoo. It's your goal against uh, Is it? Belgium, yeah. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. now know what your best side is or do you think there's still some tweaks to be made going forward it's always difficult as an international manager to know what your best side is brooks coming on showing a lot of skill connor roberts chris mepham tom lockyer magnificent and that's what i want i want these younger players to push the older experienced players to answer your question i don't know my my strongest team um obviously there's a few players that are a given um but yeah, I want to create a competitive squad where you've not just got 11, 12, 13 players, you've got 20, more than 20 players to choose from. Okay, thank you, coach. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Good luck.
get down and support the lads. It's an exciting new tournament. Let's make our home games, you know, wherever we play a fortress. It's good to get the win and sort of show the fans what sort of what we're trying to build and I thought the fans were excellent today. But yeah, there's gonna be I suppose slight up and downs. Proud of the players. The players are disappointed, but I told them that you know they should be proud of themselves, and we'll learn from this game. Well, definitely.